that video that helped me understand I had exactly three settings in my spectrum analyzer that weren't the way everybody wanted to see them. Not that it invalidates one little drop of data because it doesn't. So it is what it is. Evening everybody. Uh, it is Monday night. This is a busy weekend for me. I traveled to uh, the Northwest and wanted to help my friend last week. Back on the air, so we have that all set up. See, this is what I like right here. Actual pieces of data. Little love notes. Good evening, everybody. Boy, it has been an interesting day, hasn't it? People out there putting up hate videos. Kind of cute. You know, you really run somebody the wrong way when they go and they commit all that time and energy to. Trying to debunk what we show, but yet they can't show the sampler, the coupler, they got seven million cords running all over the place like it was Russian or it's interesting. Custom built box. But it's full of the unholy of the unholies. Packing peanuts. Y'all know how I feel about these. Think she should just be banned just because of the inconvenience of them. <laughs> but what's in this box is what I think you guys are going to find very interesting. And it, it, it's gonna, this is going to be one of the things that upsets a lot of people too. It's just it is what it is. Had a lot of neat stuff going on in the last two weeks. I'm going to tell you. I think you guys will find this entertaining. So he's working on stuff for his locals, and he told me, I'm saving up my money, I can't wait to do an LD Moss box. And I said, Oh, that's great, let me know when you get there. And then he sent me a picture about three months later, and he bought himself an RF man pallet. As soon as he hooked it up, the thing caught on fire and exploded. It exploded. And I read all the text exchange that went on between him and Rob, and it made me really sad. Rob treated him like garbage and basically told him he wasn't a tech and he should never even try. And then cut off all communication with him. So that 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 upset me a little bit. I saddened that you know he went and spent his you know his hard earned summer money on this this product, but at two points of view, he, he never told me that he was doing it and
of the way that it, it got handled. And I thought, well, it can't really be that bad. So then I went and I started asking Rob about it over on the Motor Mouth Ball group page. And the response I got from Rob was just unbelievable. So, I thought, well, I'll show everybody how to make the products work, which I did. I received a lot of calls from other techs, and they're like, dude, thank you. And this would be another prime example. This here, right here, is the LDMOS palette that was built by Pride, aka Bill Curry. This unit has never worked right. And it is full of RF man technology. So we're gonna have to do a full YouTube video on this. This thing is this particular palette has chunked, I think, four or five MOSFETs at this point. So it's here. Now I gotta figure out what we want to do with it. Man. Anywho. More on this to come. I just want to come and say good afternoon, everybody. And relax. All things will pass. It is what it is. It's just radio. I hope you guys have a beautiful week coming up. I'm going to run off. i got to file this away. i got about 14 other things I actually need to work on tonight. This is not something that gets to get done right away. But this will be coming soon. The Bill Pride... Rob Neff, all the moss box. Appreciate all you guys. Thank you each and every single one of you guys for being here. More fun to come. Believe me, more fun to come. More fun to come. I'll see you guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye.